Dynamos FC were joined by our head coach, Kenneth Kilvin. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning, colleagues. Welcome to our press conference. I don't know if you can see this. We're joined by our head coach, Kelvin Kawunda, with his two captains. With his two captains, Errol Sivanda and Peter Mokowa. They are going to tell us the preparation I watched the match on Sunday. Coach, you start the league with a a big match uh, against Dynamos uh, and uh, welcome back again to Zimbabwe and uh, tell us your preps and uh, looking at this season. Uh, thank you very much. Um, our preparation so far uh, okay. Uh, we are looking forward to the game that will be played on Sunday. Uh, so far there are no major complaints that we can talk about. Everything seems to be going according to plan and according to our programs. We are just eagerly waiting for the big game that is coming on, on Sunday. Uh, in terms of the complement of your, your squad, are you, if you manage to sign the players that you would have loved to sign, maybe if you reach the number uh, 25 or 30, including the five junior ones and any injured ones? Uh, our squad is almost complete and I think if you have watched some of the friendly games that we have managed to play, uh, this is basically what we have. We are happy with the players that we have. Uh, we also have the slots for our juniors and we have also managed to give some of our juniors the slots for the senior players that are part of the team that is going to be able to compete in the 2024 season. <coughs> 2024 season, your target? Uh, I think everybody wants to achieve, everybody wants to succeed. Uh, but sometimes you need to look at what you are beginning to build. This is a project that we want to start. Uh, I think you have seen even the number of youths that we have promoted from our own Boso 90 to bring to the main team. I think this is a project that needs to be supported and we want to build a strong foundation from there, but also as much as possible considering our sponsors and our fans as well, that we also need to be able to raise a team that is going to compete with the other teams. Uh, you playing uh, <coughs> Dynamo's uh, first game of, uh, uh, of uh, the league, one of the biggest games in the, in the country. Uh, what effect do you think it's going to have uh, in your campaign in the, in the season? I think for me it's, it's, it's not one of the big games in the league. I think it is one of the big games on the continent of Africa. Uh, and I was saying such games are supposed even to be televised across the, across the continent. Uh, it comes in the week one. I've had so many people with different sentiments regarding why should this big game be played in the first week. Uh, I think a fixture is a fixture and we cannot avoid any team being given to us in the first round or in the first week that we play. What we need is just to focus on the game that is coming. We want the fans to come out in numbers and support their teams as much as possible. Uh, we want to entertain them and as try as much as possible to avoid any violence, let the people come out in numbers, support their teams. Yes, it is early, but this is week one. We are able to play against any team, whether it is in the week one, whether it is in the week four, or is it in the week 17. I think a fixture is a fixture. Uh, we didn't see much of uh, your captain, Ariel Spanda, beginning of uh, uh, the season. season preparation. Uh, we didn't get much from, from the medical team about uh, his uh, problem. Is uh, he fit now? What was uh, his challenge? Uh, Ario started a bit late uh, regarding the preseason trainings that we had. Uh, I think he, he got uh, injured. We can't go 
into details uh, to discuss about the nature of his injury. Uh, we were monitoring him and I think the club also has assisted him to get treatment as soon as possible. And the moment he started training, he is here with us and he has been able to feature in the last two friendlies that we have played. And he's been attending training. Is he part of the squad that plays Dynamos uh, on Sunday? Uh, he's part of the team that we have for the 2024 season. Oh, I hate to say he's around there. <laughs> I have not seen him. <laughs> okay. Any more questions for the coaches? For the coach, anything for the captains? Uh, captains, uh, 2023, the last year, 2024 season, this season, how is the morale in the camp, especially? that the first match is going to be against Dynamos and you know when it's against Dynamos it's, 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 it's not only a game, it's, it's for pride, it's for everything and sometimes some will wish to beat maybe Dynamos and not win the championship. <laughs> well, personally I think uh, the boys are going to get, uh, like the coach said, the fixture is the fixture. We're not only looking at Dynamos only but the other games that are coming. But I think uh, the boys are ready and uh, we will try on Sunday our best, you know, to make our fans very happy and the sponsors. And we know last season it didn't end well, but uh, we're urging our supporters also to come in numbers and support. This is just football. Yeah, it's, a, it's a Sunday and we need to enjoy guys. Yeah. And so I urge our supporters to come and enjoy us. To follow up to the question that I, I, I asked the coach, he said you, you were managing injury whatever it was yeah. uh, how are you feeling now no i'm feeling okay uh, thanks to the club and the uh, coaches you know for assisting me with my injury and, uh, i think uh, they really gave me the support that i needed and i think that's what made me came strong and uh, even uh, my teammates also uh, were behind me you are part of uh, the team for the season as the coach uh, has said uh, if you are selected to play against dynamos on sunday are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm always ready to go because uh, uh, this is into play. And also, uh, you know, when you've got uh, two strong other goalkeepers, you know, you need to be always ready. The biggest game, uh, the biggest uh, game in the country, like we're saying with the coach, the coach was saying is the biggest game in in Africa. Um, as captain, what would be your message to to the other boys, uh, the youngsters? The coach said. Uh, number of players coming from uh, Boso 90. What would be your message as captain to the rest of uh, the squad? Yeah, firstly, uh, I think it's a blessing that we have uh, been taking our team that we have. Uh, they know how to motivate the boys and also uh, the, uh, the kind of boys that we have. I think they are ready. It should be a much uh, job you know, to motivate them because uh, I think they've seen it all, uh, maybe in the TVs or what, but right now I think the boys that we have uh, very strong boys. I think the there was a strong, strong feeling, although it was not uh, given much of uh, evidence. <coughs> that the last game that was played at BF, some of uh, you guys, the players, incited violence in that game. What would be your message to to the rest of the squad regarding that kind of behavior? Yeah, it's, it was something that was said outside, but uh, as far as I believe. Uh, we tried our best, you know, to control the violence, but uh, I don't know, maybe it came outside that we were the one who said it, but you know, people may say what they want to say, but I uh, strongly believe us as a team we should be disciplined first, and then everything goes on. Hey, remember, I was serious. He's focusing. <laughs> Uh, Peter, uh, you playing against the animals, your message, and also your message to the fans. What I can say to the fans, they have to come in numbers. That's what I can say to the boys. You know, <coughs> playing against the animals, you have to be motivated. You know, it's a big game, so nothing I can say to the animals. You have to be motivated. You know. Psychologically, <coughs> are you ready for this game? I remember the last, some things went wrong. Find something like that. 
is is that not affecting you as you go to this one? No, I want to talk about that. I don't really like talking about that because I can. From 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 uh, from this meeting that we have, uh, we are or I am not discussing individual players. Uh, I would rather concentrate on the actual team. Uh, I think maybe you can make up a follow-up call once we release our initial team for the 2024. Uh, if you see it's there or if it's not there, maybe you can make up a follow-up call and definitely I will attend to that. And I'll definitely get into this. Okay. Yeah, do you have any more questions? Okay, thank you so much for joining us for this press conference. This is the next one.